Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning about how to calculate time difference between two different timings in Excel. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda, that is, how to calculate time difference between two different timings using Excel. Now let's get on to the practical mode. Now we are on our Excel spreadsheet. As you can see on my Excel spreadsheet, let me expand it. We have two different timings that is in and out. So here we are considering a scenario where we are calculating the total number of hours worked by an employee in an organization. So the end time will be the time where the employee logged in and the out time will be the time when the employee logged out. So here we have made some minor cell formatting. So when you right click on any of the cell, you can get back to the formatting cells option. And in that option, we have selected the AM PM. So there is also another option of choosing the 24 hour timing that is 13, 20, uh, 13, 30. So this represents the 24 hour format. But since we are you know working on office timings let's keep it as am pm okay so there you go so we have our uh, timings of in and out now to calculate the time difference between the in time and out time so this particular calculation is completely simple all you have to do is press equals to select out time minus select in time so there you go press enter and you have the total number of hours the employee has been working in your organization so here also we have made some minor cell formatting so usually it comes out as am pm right but instead of that we have made a minor cell formatting we have navigated into time and we have selected the 24 hour formatting so that we have just hours in our output so that's how we have calculated the time difference between two in times and out times of an employee using excel now with that we have come to an end of this tutorial on how to calculate time difference using excel and if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or or if you need the resources that we have used in this session then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest until next time thank you stay safe and keep learning Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.